Hello everyone, I'm just back with a little piece that I did. Um, I'd been experimenting with some tea bags um, and I'd recorded a couple of pieces and they were just terrible. They were terrible. So they're one of those pieces where you just couldn't save it. Usually I hate doing that and I usually never ever chuck anything out. But this time I actually did. But before I chucked it out, I really liked the sentiment that I'd made. Um, it says people are not hopeless. I think it's a huge sentiment that everyone needs to remind themselves of off all the time. So I kept that. So this is what the project that I wanted to use around that. I wanted to use a tea bag and I wanted to use the sentiment. So I've just ripped off a piece of index card, um, just a little bit bigger than the tea bag, just because I wanted to have a nice thicker surface, I suppose, um, to give it some body. And then I've just got some books te book text and some Dina Wakerly collage tissue paper. Um, just applying that to the background, just layering it up. Just again, just to add something underneath, because I like how that with the tea bag you can still see your background layers through it. So then I'm looking at this and I did adjust the camera I zoomed out because I thought that it needed it and then I don't know what's happened and I've ended up cutting off some of some of the piece when I'm doing it so I apologize for losing some of your viewing but I think you can still see what I'm doing. Anyway so I get out some gesso and then I'm looking at it and there's that little piece that's just not sticking down so I'm thinking I can't be bothered gluing it so I just got end up getting some Tim Holtz washi and just adding a couple of strips of that just to hold everything down so I don't have to worry about re-gluing anything and then making more dry time um, so then I've just got some gesso it's just an atelier um, it's called the gesso primer which is really really thick so I'm just watered it down just a little bit because I only wanted a thin coat so you could still see the text and all the bits and pieces in the background So I'm just going to add that tea bag now. They're pretty cool actually. I've been using just normal tea bags and I've actually got some blood orange water infusion like for cold water tea bags. I've been using those and they look amazing. So I can't wait to do a project with those. So I've just adhered it with a matte medium and some a little bit of gesso and some parts as well. So just drying it off and then I know that my sentiment that I made is going to go down the bottom so I look at it and then I think it just needs to be grounded so I get out some masking tape just rip it into bits um, I'm sure that you've seen Dee Dee and Jen do that a lot I think it's a great idea um, masking tape and then with a little bit of stabilo over the top and activate the stabilo to sort of leaves patches in the end you can't really see much of it but I know it's there um, and I'd have to say that this is the least amount of black that I've ever used on a piece for a long time so it's pretty bright well kind of bright anyway so you can see how that black's just sort of hidden into that masking tape so I've just dried it off there I did a few splatters with what was left on my brush as well So I use the Dina Wakely Splatter Girl stamp. So I know where it's going to go. I like to stamp on um it's just an old mouse pad. Computer mouse pad. I don't know. It's just me. Still not very good at stamping. I'm new to the stamping game. And I probably don't do things the correct way. But anyway. So I've just got out a few um, different ink pads there. I think I end up using Distress Ink in Walnut Stain and Wild Honey Oxide in the Broken China. Um, I use a Memento in Rhubarb Stalk. I think that's all I use. And then I did just put a couple of sprinkles of water on this. And to be honest, it doesn't work and I don't have a U-boot stamping platform so I just go eh. 
bugger. So then I just ink it up again and then try to position it about the same spot. <laughs> um, I don't think I use any blue in this time. I think I just use the other couple of colours. I oh know, a little bit, but you can't see it. So then I took it off of my acrylic block to see whether I could get a better stamp that way. Kind of works out well. Like it's hard when you're stamping onto a textured background. I mean, it's never going to be perfect. It is what it is. Um, I think you can see her enough. I don't. It wasn't a piece where I wanted the image to really be in your face. I sort of wanted you to be able to see it. But it sort of goes with the sentiment that, you know, sometimes you really do think you're hopeless, even when you really aren't. So it's just a reminder. So then I just get out some of the um, oxide ink again in the walnut, uh, the broken china. Put a bit on my mat, get some water, and then do some splatters. And then at the top, I sort of ran it over. It's really, really wet. So it just sort of gives a little blue top to it. So it just grounds it a little bit. And I'm just putting some blue around the outsides. See, this is where I typically use Stabilo and do black, but I didn't. Um, and then I sort of call it a day, but I actually add some marks at the end um, off camera up the top there with the Stabilo and I'm just journal like um, scribble around the right, the sentiment as well. So there you have it. So it's not too bad, it's a little piece of something. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, um, like and subscribe. Bye.